Serious girls who have been guilted into going out with a nice guy, how did it go? Moved to another state with my sister and she made a few guy friends. One of them saw her with me and begged her to set up a date with me. I reluctantly agreed because she kept saying how sweet and nice he was. First date he kept gushing about how gorgeous I was and the fact that I was smart made it 100x better. He was going to make me his queen and take me around the world but I have to pay for my own meal and his since he paid this time. I told him I was only interested in being friends and he begged my sister to get me to go out on another date. I declined and we moved back home and he came to visit my sister. While he was here he kept looking at me and telling my sister to just hook him up with me. It was my birthday and I kind of just rolled my eyes and was like come on I'll take you out too with my group of friends. At the bar, he was really into me and I was getting annoyed because he wouldn't let me relax and have fun. I told him I really only saw him as a friend and in front of everyone he yelled at me saying what a horrible person I am for leading him on, nothing but a whore etc. I ended up crying because it was so embarrassing. My guy friends wanted to go talk to him after they heard what happened. My sister ran up to me and told me to go make him happy again he came down to see me and this is how I was treating him. I just went home and the next morning my sister told me how sorry that guy was and he wanted me to come say bye to him at the airport. Needless to say I didn't. We were friends in high school and most of college. It was one of those things where he was a friend of a friend, but we always went to the same parties, hung together in the same group and so on. The guys in the group would always say things like, Ah man you and Kyle would be so great together. You should give him a shot. I'd kind of laugh it off because for a majority of the time I had a boyfriend. Eventually me and the boyfriend broke up, and about a week later Kyle asked me out. I wasn't really ready, but I figured it was a first date and everyone had been pressuring me into giving this guy a chance so I went. The whole evening was awkward. We just ordered a pizza and watched movies, which was what we did in our friend group anyways, but this guy would not stop staring. I felt like I couldn't even eat because I was under a microscope. The evening ended uneventfully, but then there was the aftermath. We kept texting and seeing each other in the friend group, and about a week later he asked when we can have another date. I told him that maybe I had rushed into things too fast and I just wasn't feeling any connection with him. I broke up with my girlfriend for you. Yup, dude found out I was single dumped his girlfriend of 8 months just so he could ask me out to an awkward pizza date in his bedroom. The timely cherry on top is that they got back together, and apparently I'm tearing their marriage apart because she found a bunch of texts from me from 6 years ago and he admitted that he kept them cause he still likes me. I haven't seen him in 4 years. Edit for timeline, we are friends in high school, 10 years ago, and college, 5 to 6 years ago. While we are in college, he asks me out after dumping his girlfriend. Sometime after that they get back together and are married last year. Last week, a friend informs me that they are on the verge of divorce because she found texts he had saved, screenshots, from our college chats 5 or 6 years ago. Edit, several people are commenting that I shouldn't have gone out with him and just told him I wanted to stay friends, the thread is literally, girls guilt into going out with nice guy. Throw away account for this as don't want my story tracing back to me. I met him through online dating and after a couple of weeks of chatting online decided to cool things off as he was giving off a creepy, needy vibe that frightened me. He would ask about ex-boyfriends frequently and tell me that he would be good for me, ask UAL questions without any encouragement and want to know intimate details. I forgot all about him until he sent me a random message months later and apologized for his previous behavior which he blamed on a tricky breakup. Time passed and he seemed a new person so I gave in and met with him. Our first couple of dates seemed fine with just a few odd comments that I should have paid attention to. Then he started questioning where I was and who I was with, but again I just foolishly ignored this. The first time, and last time, I stayed at his we went out for a drink beforehand and he was judging me for having a couple of beers. When we got back to his I wasn't feeling up to anything UAL so told him firmly no and went to sleep. Later that night I woke up to him on top of me. I never confronted him about this. I just pretended I hadn't woke up and made my excuses the next day before blocking him from my life. I've never told anyone this before. I just wish I'd listened to my previous instinct and Keo well away. Wasn't really a date. 
I was at a hiking trip with my sister and other people from our village when we met a group of guys, drinking, and having fun. Was on, German, Father's Day, so it wasn't an unusual sight. For some reason my sister got into a talk with the guys and somehow got me and her invited for the party at one of the guys house later. No big deal, we brought her boyfriend with us and were expecting some good time. My boyfriend was on a biking trip with his dad, so he couldn't come. We arrive and nobody else is there, guy says they will all arrive later and we are early, 30 minutes after the time he told us to be there, and we start drinking, having fun, and everything. He clearly has a thing for me, invites me to go on festivals with him, sister's boyfriend tells me I would be stupid if I say no and he would totally be going. The others arrive and at some point the homeowner asks me to go out for a walk, he needs some air. We walk a bit and suddenly he turns around, telling me I am the love of his life, the girl meant for him, most beautiful, smart etc he has ever seen. I was shocked and didn't know what to say except, I have a boyfriend, you know, he said he doesn't care, we're clearly soulmates and then just kisses me out of nowhere. Tells me he would break up with his girlfriend for me, he never mentioned her before, and I should do the same. Luckily, my sister blacked out on the toilet and someone shouted at him for help unlocking the door, so we went back up. I took care of my sister, his girlfriend arrived, he pulled me aside and told me he would do it now, right here. I said no and he told me to take my sister and leave, what I did then. He messaged me on Facebook the next day that I was a whore and I lead him on and he almost broke up with his future wife for ab asterisk tch like me. TL, DR, met a guy, got invited to his house, he wanted me to break up with my boyfriend, he wanted to break up with his girlfriend, kissed me, called me soulmate and then a whore when I said no. All within 24 hours. Edit. Since a lot of you asked, why would you let a stranger kiss you, or if I told my then boyfriend about it, we did not make out and did not kiss him back. He smooched my lips after he approached me in the middle of a sentence at high speed and let go of me seconds later before I could even process what had happened. I can take care of myself and would have given him a good kicking, but I honestly was worried about my sister, even though I used the word luckily. At least I could make you laugh about that. All my friends said a guy from our group of friends was very nice, even though I felt like he was creepy. Went out once, thought I'd give it a chance, to be nice. Regretted it immediately. He asked me what I thought of being in a relationship with him, and when I said no slash I didn't want that, because I wasn't very interested and we had only been friends before this, he said he was disappointed with my answer and expected something more worthy of him. He said that saying no was disrespectful. Big yikes. We met once after that because he surprise visited me a few months later. He asked me to ruffle through my hair because he wanted to feel my scalp, treated me like a dog and wanted me to sit next to him so he'd be closer to me. He also thought it was a great idea to mention that he sometimes hears voices in his head and has dreamt of killing people. I rushed him out of my apartment onto the street. I just wanted him to be gone. I checked my keys five times to see whether he took any. I've had to see him a couple times since then, and he is the most creepy, socially inept person I've ever met. He's so aggressive and impulsive. I am truly afraid he will rape or kill someone someday, and I'm still afraid that that person could be me. Edit, this blew up. Yes, he still is in my circle of friends. For some reason my guy friends laughed it off and don't see him as much of a threat to anyone, let alone me. I avoid him as much as I can and never see him in groups of less than five people.